So yeah, definitely. Yeah, if I went on Love Island, I would get a following and I'll just send all them people there right to my YouTube channel. Because yeah? my YouTube channel, like the stuff I talk about can definitely help a lot of people. But it's getting that exposure or whatever. In it. But it, I will do one day, innit? It just might be three, four years from now. But I'll stick at it. Come this far already, what we fucking almost 300 videos on public. Can't, can never give up. But I still, I, I still don't throw that card. Oh, I'm shadow ban or whatever. And it's just maybe the realness is not for everyone, in it. But there's always other avenues. I'm not just gonna stop at YouTube and think to myself, oh, you know, I haven't made it on YouTube or nothing like that. So no. If I don't make it on YouTube, I'm going to try something else. I ain't going to delete my YouTube channel or nothing like that. But all right, maybe I need a bigger platform. Maybe I need to actually be going out there and speaking to real people, yeah? On a stage, yeah? On a panel, on TV, yeah? Instead of hiding behind a camera on my fucking laptop, yeah? Or on my Ross Clark phone, Yeah? Man, for years, 10 years on YouTube, making videos and shit and claiming that, oh, you know, YouTube's toxic and shadow ban and that. Bro, all right, man. Yeah, you've, you've done the YouTube thing. Yeah, you've stepped out of your comfort zone because most people would never go on YouTube and talk realness and stuff like that. Yeah, right, you've done that. But what are you doing afterwards? You need to continuously step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, not just step out of your comfort zone one time, that's it. You continuously keep improving. Right. I make videos on YouTube. Yeah? Then I do like live streams. Then I go out onto, onto stage in real life and talk to people. Then I go on TV. You know what I mean? Like you have to continuously keep improving. Not just, I'm going to make YouTube videos for 10 years and that should be good enough. No. Yeah. You're supposed to have growth. Yeah. And accept you're not going to be successful at everything. Stop claiming that you fucking shadow back or you're not. It is within YouTube's best interest to share your videos because the more people that see your videos is the more people that's going to be clicking on your video. So the more times your videos pop up on the algorithm and it goes to suggest it, the more people are going to be clicking on it. If your channel is monetized, then more people are going to see the adverts. Yeah. So YouTube is going to make more money. Yeah. So why would they want to shadow ban someone who could be helping them gain an income? It just don't make no sense. Either YouTube, and this is the thing, right? These people that talk about YouTube shadow banning them or whatever, innit, yeah? and their channel's getting taken down, their video's getting taken down. YouTube is not taking down videos and channels for, take, for the sake of taking down videos and channels, yeah? These people are doing stuff on their YouTube channel. What? I don't fucking know. But they're doing stuff on their YouTube channel, and they ain't admitting to their subscribers or their viewers what they're doing and why they had to make a, a JYS TV returns or JYS TV 2.0 backup account or whatever. They're doing stuff on their account. I don't know, they're uploading videos they're not supposed to, right? And they get taken down quickly and they don't tell anyone. Or they're abusing the copyright or whatever in it. Because I've got copyright strikes, so there's me, I put a couple songs in some of my videos. I get a copyright strike, right? It's nothing serious, it's just, oh, you can't monetize that video because you've used someone else's song, which is cool. But... There's YouTubers, they, they're doing stuff on their account, within their account, and they're not telling anyone, yeah? They're doing dodgy stuff. What? I don't know, yeah? But they're doing dodgy stuff in their on their videos and stuff like that, and their account, and they're not telling anyone. And what they do is they just say, oh, yeah, I'm getting shadow banned or whatever. Look, they're taking down my channel. YouTube is taking down their channel for a specific reason. They're doing stuff they're not supposed to, but they never admit that. They never admit that. You got a man riding like fucking lunatics, driving their cars like lunatics. Yeah, like a lot of people think that motorbike riding is dangerous. Yeah, right, it is a bit dangerous. Yeah, but more time. Yeah, let me tell you something right now. You, you're looking at a seasoned motorbike rider. I've been riding mopeds since I was 15 years old. Yeah, watch my video talking about my riding and driving experience. Yeah, I had two mopeds when I was 15. Well, I had one when I was 15, then the next month I turned 16 and I bought another one. So when I was 16, I had two mopeds. Yeah? One at the front, one at the back of my house. Yeah? 
Then I've got little um, Galera DNAs and stuff like that. And then certain times, man, acquired mopeds, yeah? Whatever that means, yeah? You understand what I mean? Man, acquired mopeds certain times, was racing it around the estate and that when I was younger, yeah? When I was like 17 and that. Man, been on road for years riding mopeds, motorbikes, Galera DNAs, R125. Now I've got R6. We had my bike almost four years in December, innit? Yeah? Season rider. And I'm telling you right now, yeah? More time, it's the riders, yeah? It's the riders' fault why they get into accidents, yeah? They told you about, oh, when they were sticking to the speed limit, 70 miles per hour on the M25, and some idiot pulled out and knocked them over. But they didn't tell you about, for years, they've been riding like a fucking lunatic, yeah? Filtering in between cars, lifting up the bike <laughs> in between cars, yeah? Leaning from side to side, doing all these crazy shit on their bike. They don't tell you about that. Yeah, obviously it's a guilty smile, isn't it? Yeah, they don't tell you about all that foolishness. They just tell you about when that idiot didn't sit, look, look one time and then lit them over. But then they didn't tell you about five minutes ago, they was busting one fat wheelie for about three or four minutes. But they just told you about the time they got knocked over the back because some idiot didn't look. But really and truly, they've been getting lucky for years. It's only a matter of time before one idiot takes them out. Yeah? People only admit the parts that they want to admit. Yeah? They only tell you the part of the story that they want to tell you. Yeah? So when these people are coming on YouTube saying, oh, I'm a shadow ban, a shadow ban, that, right? Trust me, those people who get their videos taken down, they're doing stuff they're not supposed to. And that's why YouTube is, is taking down the videos. That, that weird stuff's happened to me before as well like on YouTube. People have left co positive comments, nothing rude, nice comments, and YouTube has deleted the comment. I don't know why. But it's, it's a fucking, it's a website. You know, there might be glitches. I don't know any, but I'm definitely not thinking that fucking YouTube is shadow banning me or nothing like that. Yeah. Shit happens. At the end of the day, right, if your content was really that good, right, people will probably be sharing your content. If they ain't sharing it, then maybe it's not really that good. Yeah. Or maybe they think that your content's good, but it's more personal. Like, eh, other people might not want to hear the content. I mean, I don't let it get to me, innit? I just, whatever, innit? Yeah. On to the next thing. Still do the YouTube team, but okay, boom. On to the next thing. Yeah. I might make 400 videos. Man, I make no money off the videos, but that book, is the thing that made me money. That book is the thing that got me on TV, not even the YouTube channel. Although the YouTube channel was created to promote that book. All I'm trying to do is climb the ladder of success. So whatever way I get there, it don't really matter. Like, do you really want to be a successful YouTuber? Like really, like, what's your purpose? Like what you put on this earth to be a success on a fucking website. Like, <laughs> just think of that, like, like your, your sole purpose on this planet was to be a successful YouTuber. So what happens if they, they, they Google um, gets rid of YouTube or whatever? I think Google owns YouTube. What happens if Google gets rid of YouTube? Like, come on, man. Like, there's so much more to life out there than just being a successful YouTuber, man. Like, fucking hell.